chin scratches, a pat on the head, and the occasional treat. Luxuries for any house cat, but Mickey isn't a house cat. His home is a mom-and-pop grocery store, and even though he sleeps about 16 hours a day, he always gets the job done. He's just here for, for everything, for, uh, you know, th therapy for, for, for all of us, you know, in this anxiety-filled time. Uh, and mainly he's pest control. So about 10 years ago, we were infested by, by mice, and uh, w without, without a cat here, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. So Mickey might be a star here at Top 10, but unfortunately, he's run afoul of health authorities. And unfortunately for this black and white cat, the law itself is also black and white. Vancouver Coastal Health said they haven't ordered Mickey gone, but he can't stay. Inspectors received a complaint. It said in an email, the operation of food premises in B.C. is a regulated activity under the Public Health Act, and an operator must not permit live animals to be on the premises. The use of live animals is also not a recognized component of an integrated pest management program. Our health protection team will be working with the owner to ensure they are in compliance. McDonald thinks it makes no sense. So the sad part is that I think he's, he's really connected with people and their hearts, right? So to see him go is, is, is you know, quite devastating, right? We, whenever we would come by, we'd come say hello. Everybody, he's a really friendly, so everybody likes to scritch, give him scritches. On social media, users are mounting Mickey's defense, like Emily Black, Ooh. a regular customer. My boyfriend actually called me as soon as he left. He was like, Emily, you need to hear this. Guess what's happening to Mickey? Uh, and I was ready to do whatever I could do to make sure he can stay. So will the old song come true? Can the cat come back? Possibly, says Victoria Schroff. She's an expert on animal law. And maybe also talking with the health authorities and seeing, you know, is there, is there a possibility of an exemption? Meantime, Mickey has found new accommodations. He's going to live with McDonald from now on, not too far away. So while Mickey's working life might be over, he has eight more lives to live in retirement. Liam Britton, CBC News, Vancouver.